is up everybody welcome to the channel i am everything rugby 2010 and today i'm going to be doing my first video as <coughs> a um five things i recommend for getting for starting rugby so these are the essential things like um like mouth guard like um scrum hat uh, kit other things these and like socks everything like that these aren't the essentials these are just things i suggest getting especially if you do like training and stuff like out of rugby and just some things i definitely suggest getting if you're gonna start like a rugby team or start anywhere like doing rugby so if you do go on to enjoy enjoy this video i don't know what the camera angle is about right now um if you do come to enjoy this video i'm literally on my bed right now then please make sure to smash that like one and subscribe can we hit 10 subscribers because that really means the world to me. I know 10 subscribers doesn't seem like a lot. But as I just started the channel, it is. <laughs> By the way, I do not have COVID. I don't have a cold or anything. It's just kind of a pissy thing I have. So, yeah. So. But, without further ado, let's get started into the video. <clears throat> um, first of all, I recommend a kicking tee. Kicking is always a good thing to practice. I mean, you can just pick up the ball kind of like... Hold on. You can just kind of pick up the ball and like drop it and kick it but it's kind of not like very realistic of what you're actually gonna do in a rugby game so they do do like they do 10 pound ones i got my one from four so right they do do 10 pound ones which are like adjustable they're a lot bigger and like they're kind of i'll put a picture of it up here this one was a fiver it's cougar brand i love the brand cougar for rugby literally if you're gonna buy anything rugby gilbert rugby balls I would definitely suggest but anything else go with cougar i'm not even joking just go with cougar or patrick or any of the good rugby brands like that but yeah this one's kind of like a rubbery material um like yeah um i got this for a fiver the other one was a little bit more expensive it was a tenner so i decided to go with the cheaper one because i don't really do a lot of kicking at rugby but i just still wanted to practice it just in case anything does happen and i do do kicking and yeah so it's quite small as well as you can see compared to my hand it is quite small too so you could just put it in your rugby bag um also i did go rugby training yesterday which means my kit is in the wash so i uh, was in my rugby video uh, what's in my rugby bag video will be coming out very soon but yeah definitely suggest the cougar um kicking tee from sports direct or you probably get on places next is a bit of an obvious one but it is a rugby ball i definitely recommend the brand gilbert but you don't really, really want to get the match ones because the match ones are just literally exactly like this this is size size five it's a gilbert training ball i definitely recommend this this has been out in the sun it used to be bright red let me show you a picture of it it used to be bright red um now it's kind of pinky but it still works um perfectly it's just good to train with i mean there's no point getting a kicking tee if you don't have a rugby ball to train with i definitely recommend if you want the cheaper option this one was 12.99 for a um size five training ball i don't think that's actually that bad i don't think it is but if you want a match ball then i go with the brand cougar because it's a lot more cheaper i think it's probably the same amount of money for this as this as for a match ball in the brand Cougar or the brand Patrick, I have, I used to have a Cougar ball. I don't know where that went. I do have a Patrick ball down in the back of my garden. Um, but the thing with the Patrick balls, they're kind of more like flat. I don't know why, but these ones are just the proper Gilbert ones. It looks so massive compared to my hands. I have tiny hands, so I can't even hold this ball with one hand at all. Like, at all, at all. I can hold it with one hand like this, but it just slips, so definitely recommend um getting a rugby ball just for training like practicing like what i do is when i come back every day every time i go training um we do a mini game at the end like if my like my teammates so like we get um set into groups and we kind of play a game then and it's kind of just a lot of fun and whatever i feel like i need to improve then i just go when i come back home i will see the rest and just you know just do the regular things and then i go and practice um so yeah definitely recommend having one of these just because it's just it's also just fun to have one of these so yeah um next is deep heat 
this i think is the reg the actual brand um it's basically kind of if you don't know what deep heat is it's basically just a it's a spray it stinks but basically it's a pain relief spray so if you have any pull muscles i do have pull muscles but they're under my armpits because of something i was doing yesterday i actually tackled someone and pulled muscle i've got i didn't really warm up yesterday because i was i literally got there so late and didn't warm up it's a bit sad so <laughs> you basically just i'm not gonna put it under my armpits because it's a bit weird but like especially good for games i put it in the rugby bag they're not honestly that much that expensive so once you finish you can just spray it where it's like hurting to so say if you've got pull muscle on your arm you just spray it on your arm if you do have a pull muscle on my arm and it will just it's not i'm not saying it cures the pain it does it's a pain relief for, like get back <laughs> you can get back <coughs> don't cop it I cannot breathe right now. Okay. So I'm going to try. I don't know why I did that. That makes my throat hurt. Okay. But yeah. Grab yourself a. Grab yourself a thing of this. Don't choke on it. That's disgusting. Okay, he'll go now. But it's just an effective release. It's for muscular aches and strains. And when you strain yourself, you're trying to tackle and stuff. A lot of bad, not bad, but like for just minor injuries, it just sometimes happens. It's rugby, you've kind of got to expect it. Sometimes you have minor injuries, and this can come in proper handy. I don't even know if it matters if it's a properly branded one, but I do just have the properly branded one. It really depends on how much you want to spend. I don't think they're that expensive, but okay, I'm not gonna bother. And then the next thing is boots i've been thinking well it's kind of obvious you need boots but okay these are my summer boots these are astros they're literally like trainers um these are mercs these are mercurials and these are football boots a little tip football boots are a lot more comfortable than rugby boots um you can even i don't okay don't have a word for it i don't know if you can exchange like um, if you have football boots with studs, I don't know if you can exchange the studs for the metal studs that they use. But football boots are 100% more, like, flexible. Like, they're just a lot more comfortable. So, I definitely recommend if you're going out buying a pair of football boots, not rugby boots, because they're not as comfortable. And also, um, if you do play on, like, a really hard ground during the summer, buy some Astros like these. And then in the winter, I'm going to buy a new pair of... Um, Boots. I used to have a pair of rugby boots and I hated them. I literally wouldn't wear them. So, yeah. The last thing I don't actually have. I have it. I don't know where it is. It could be in my rugby bag. I don't know. But it is rugby gloves. Here's the picture of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. The picture. But they are rugby gloves. Basically, it helps. Especially if it's raining, I take these. They're not that expensive. I got mine from Sports Direct. Um, basically, it just helps you grip. Um, I use them a lot, like even just in fun training sessions. But it's especially helpful when it's raining. It has this like kind of grippy thing on it. So when you hold it, it's just a better grip, especially when it's raining, because obviously when it's raining, it's just going to slip in and everything. So yeah, I would definitely recommend having rugby gloves. Um, I have them, they're kind of just like, they're fingerless, and they're just nice, they're not, they don't, I don't really feel them, it's not like I'm like, annoyed because they're, like, really, they're hard to get off, I've got to admit that, but, yeah, so, that was the end of today's video, please, if you can comment, I don't know if you can be able to comment, comment down below some suggestions of, um, videos, and I will see you all next time. That's my top five things that I suggest for rugby. I've been playing rugby since 2018, so I do know my stuff quite well. Um, I was getting annoyed about why I don't know why. You should look like you live here, it's kind of bit annoying. Yeah, anyway. But yes, if you are starting rugby or going into just doing rugby still and want to know like some things to get, they are definitely things that you should get. Um, top tip, like a top, top tip is definitely, definitely get footballs. Football boots. Much more comfortable so yeah 
Um, if you did come to enjoy the video, smash that like button and subscribe. And I shall see you all next time. Peace. Everything will be 2010 out.